Um, the next speaker is somebody who has also suffered terrible personal loss because of the wars and has been a huge supporter and activist in military families against the war. Could you please give a very warm welcome to Peter Brearley? Thank you. When, when Chris when Chris rung me and asked me to speak here today, he said, we want to know, we want you to speak about the effects of the, of, of the war on terrorism, the fact that it has on ordinary people. So the, the thing that I did, I went to my dictionary and to define, first of all, terror, which is the use of extreme fear to intimidate, especially for political reasons, and then terrorist. And according to the dictionary, it's a person who uses terrorism in pursuit of political aims. And it says the origin of that is it was applied to supporters of Jacobins in French Revolution who advocated repression and violence in pursuit of the principles of democracy and equality. And when I looked at that, I thought I knew what a terrorist was. I didn't realise it was. It, that's our politicians. They're the terrorists. The, the, the people. They fit that description perfectly. And that, when, when they, what they are doing, they're, they're dividing communities within this country. They, the, the communities are divided. Uh, we're where you are on other countries. Iraq is no better now. In fact, it's worse than it was before we went. Afghanistan, next year will end up the same way. There will be the same as that will be worse than when we went. We, we are not contributing anything to those countries. Uh, and as Jeremy said, I lost my son in Iraq. And when, uh, after, I, I, to my shame, I believed everything I was told. I believed there were weapons of mass destruction. I believed that we needed to go remove Saddam. Stop the war coalition taught me different. Uh, but we campaigned for nearly three years. We went through every court in the land. We, we even ended up in the House of Lords trying to get uh, an inquiry into the reasons for going to the war in Iraq. And we were refused, again I say right up to the House of Lords, we were refused, we were promised that we would get an inquiry uh, when, the war were, when the troops came home. And the, Chil the Chilka inquiry was the inquiry that they set up. And just this last week, not last week, week before, sorry, I'll just go back a bit. When, before, when they set the inquiry up, we, we Chilka went round the country and spoke to the families who had lost sons in Iraq. And he promised us that if we would have a quick, decisive inquiry, which would uh, sort out the reasons that we went to war, which would sort out the state of Iraq now, which would explain the state of Iraq now as to what it was before we went. We were promised all that, and that was going to be as quick as uh, it was going to be as quick as they could. I found out this week that they can't publish that report because the uh, Americans are refusing to re to release uh, papers that between, uh, between Bush and Blair, and while, while ever they're, they're going, uh, they're not releasing those, that Chilcott will not send his report. The, what, what, it, what they've said is that David Cameron needs to put pressure on George Bush, but he won't, because it would spoil the special relationship <laughs> that we have. Now, as I remember, Diane's already mentioned, when they wanted to go to war with Syria, when they wanted to invade Syria, uh, because Britain wouldn't go to, wouldn't be there, then Britain's not part of the special relationship anymore, it's America and France. So I've, I've, I've emailed uh, Chilcott, I've got the, the emails here, and he says, uh, he, he says that he already has the information that he needs to, to release that report, but he won't release it until he's got, he can release all the evidence. 
I'm saying that I'm disappointed that uh, and the families are disappointed. He's saying, well, unfortunately, it's going to have to st it's going to have to be like that. That's that's how because we don't want to spoil the special relationships. Now, I've 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 come here to, I came here today with another like a hidden agenda. I've got, I've got a letter from my MP that will, that says he will try and start questions in Parliament when he will force. I've already spoken to Diane. I hope to speak to uh, Jeremy later to support to help to help my MP do that. But I also need anybody anybody American <laughs> because I've uh, I have. I have emailed the go our government. Uh, David Cameron's office has sent me an email back saying, "We've got your email. We will reply when we get round to it." That's all they've said. I've set up a, I've set up an e-petition. So if you go to government e-petitions and put in the title "America Blocking," you can sign the e-petition for me to get to get into uh, to put pressure on the government on the Americans to release it. But I have no contact. I've emailed the White House. I've emailed Barack Obama. And got nothing back because I'm not American. They're not interested in what I think. Uh, but if we, if I could get a hand in America, then I would be able to. I would hopefully be able to send an email and, and send pressure and uh, put pressure there. Uh, the the and I just need help from everybody because I'm not used to doing. I've, I've done quite a few things, but I'm not used to doing them at on my own. And the last thing I'm going to say when when they set up when they set up Chilcot, it was going to be a quick. Uh, decision made. The, the cost of Chilcot is absolutely amazing. Uh, we, I, would, I would tell three, four million. In actual fact, up to the end, up to the end of the financial year 20, 20, 2012 to 2013, it was seven million four hundred seventy-nine thousand and four hundred pounds. Because of this, because of this block, the first two years were around the same two and a half. Two, two million, two and a quarter million each each year. The second two are one and a half million each year. And because of this block, it's now going to go to the end of that financial year, which will be another <coughs> million and a half, which which is going to take it to nine million. Nine million pound. That, what what could we have spent nine million pound on in this country if we didn't have that, if we hadn't had to do that? Uh, so, uh, if you all if you all sign my e petition. If there's any Americans here who would like to give me a foot, a foot over in America, uh, and, and thank you very much for listening to what I've got to say.